This is tutorial 12, steps 6 through 10. We'll begin with step 6, and it asks us in the Storm Report workbook to assign the sub-procedures that we created, that's all the macros we created, to the buttons in the report sheet. So as you see, we have a button for display the yearly occurrence of tornadoes, the occurrence of tornadoes by decade, a comparison report, and then the statistics report. So when we click on these buttons, it should open the appropriate sheet, and we're going to do that by assigning a macro to it. So here's how we're going to handle that. We're going to right-click on the first button, and we're going to choose Assign Macro. Now this is the yearly occurrence. So that, I'll put the dialog box right next to it so you can see. So this button should run the yearly chart macro. And then we're going to do the same thing here, right click, assign. This will be tornadoes by decade or the decades chart. Right click, assign macro. This is the comparison chart. And this last one will assign the macro the statistics, so that will be our stat sheet macro, or you might have called it statistics. Okay, now once we click away, we're going to test them and see if they work. Display the yearly occurrence takes us to the yearly chart. Now what I want to do is assign the report macro to this button. So right click, assign macro, and that will take us back to the report sheet. Click away from it, so it'll work. All right, now we're back. Let's try this one. Okay, that works. Let's assign the report macro again to this one. And this button should take us back. This one should take us to the comparison. And it does. We're looking at the comparison chart. We'll assign our report macro to get us back. And then the last one takes us to the statistics sheet. And again, we'll assign the macro report sheet to that button, which will take us back. So now we've got this working for us. Moving on to step 7, we are asked to customize the quick access toolbar, adding buttons for the macros in our workbook. For each button, we'll choose an appropriate image and add a descriptive screen tip. So let me give you a tip on how to do that. The quick access toolbar is right up here in the upper left corner of the screen. If you click the down arrow, you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar. And what we want to do is go find more commands, because Macros is not in the list. So we'll go to More Commands, then we'll choose Macros. And all of your macros should appear here. So we're going to show the comparison chart, so we'll add it to our Quick Access Toolbar. The Decades chart, we'll add it, add it, add it, add it. So there are five these are the um, macros that access the various charts. They're now added to our Quick Access Toolbar. Now if you want to modify them in some way, you can, you can highlight it and click the Modify button, and then you can assign a, um, a new icon for it. And I'm not sure what would go with, with Comparison, maybe something side-by-side -side like that. So we'll use that. And then for our Decades chart, I know it doesn't make any sense, but we'll use the little piggy bank. On the report sheet, we'll modify that and come up with something that looks like a report sheet. How about uh, that? Our stat sheet. And you can just pick out anything you want. And then for our yearly chart, hmm, nothing looks particularly good to me, so I think I'll just use this. Now, when we click OK, you will see that you have those macros on your Quick Access Toolbar. So this one takes us to the Comparison Chart, to the Decades Chart, to the Report, to the Statistics Sheet, and finally to the Yearly Chart. So we've modified the Quick Access Toolbar. Hover your mouse over these buttons on the Quick Access Toolbar a little screen tip shows up to tell you what it means, yearly chart, and you have the opportunity to change that if you want to. If you click the down arrow and go back into Customize the Toolbar More Commands, we can take one of these. For example, Stat Sheet maybe is not as clear as it could be. So let's modify what this says. 
Again, we'll click on the Modify button, and rather than just choosing an icon, we're going to modify the display name. So I'll have it say Statistics rather than Stat Sheet. And we'll click OK, click OK, and now when I hover the mouse, you see that it says Statistics. The next step, Step 8, is to hide the row and column headings as well as the grid lines on the report worksheet. So let's access the report worksheet. We'll use our icon to do that. To hide the row and column headings, we'll go to File and choose Options. In the Options screen, you'll need to go to the Advanced section and scroll down until you get into the display area. And specifically, we want to look at display options for this worksheet. You can turn off show row and column headers, and you can turn off show grid lines. Now notice that this is only being applied to the report sheet. When I click OK, you can see that that has happened. We don't have the column letters, we don't have the row numbers, and we don't have the grid lines showing either. In Step 9, we're asked to hide the grid lines on the Statistics Worksheet. So let's select that sheet, and then we'll go into File, Options, Advanced, We'll scroll down until we get to the display area. And here we are, display options for this worksheet statistics. And again, we will turn off show grid lines. I'll click OK. And you can see that the grid lines are not showing. Step 9 asks us to hide the sheet tabs on the whole workbook. So the same process. We'll go to File, Options, Advanced. We'll scroll down until we get into the Display area. When we get to Display Options for this workbook, covering the whole file, we can turn off the Sheet tabs. Click OK, and you'll notice that you cannot see the Sheet tabs. Now we don't have to worry about that because we can use our buttons, which activate our macros, to return to this area and we can activate each sheet by pressing one of these buttons.